You know, being a donor, um, it's, it's so special. Um, you know, it's one of the, the most beautiful things that I think anybody can, um, can do in their, uh, their lifetime. Philanthropy is uh, so important to support our mission at Hackensack Meridian Health, which is to transform healthcare and to be the leader of positive change. But without philanthropy, it's going to become more and more difficult for that growth and that trajectory to continue to, uh, to move forward. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of you for, for your gifts. We are so grateful. Hackensack Meridian gives. They really do. They're always looking to upgrade from, from better to best. Jersey Shore, it's a magnificent hospital. Literally, the miracles they can perform is incredible. We have a summer home in, in Seaside Park. Everybody who needs a doctor goes to Ocean. To help all the senior citizens that are down in that area, we wanted to bring something good to them. I had problems uh, probably about maybe eight years ago, and I went to see Dr. Shaw. Now, Dr. Shaw is a cardiologist at Bayshore. He examined me and he said, I think we need to do further testings. Well, when he said further testings, I had myself dead and buried. Either he knew it, but he said to me, don't worry, you're gonna be fine. And it was just like a breath of fresh air. So that's what attracted me a lot to Bayshore, because he was a Bayshore doctor. Bob and I always gave. Somebody needs somebody's husband, somebody's child, somebody to stay alive, and you're giving them that gift. No matter what, he'd go out of his way to help somebody. And the man literally, absolutely worked day and night. It feels like he's still alive. When I see his name, he, I know he's looking at it. It's, it's exciting to know that he will always be there. In the emergency room, it's up to date. They want the best, and they got it. Whether it be machinery, whether it be a box of Band-Aids, whether it be anything, people need it. And if you needed it, you, wouldn't you want someone to help you? Our mission statement as a company with Jersey Mike Subs is to give and make a difference in someone's life. Right from the start in 1975 when I took over the original store, that was our mantra, our creed. So part of our giving always has to be with our local hospitals. Our civic duty is to be involved. Our hospitals are integral to being part of our community. I'll never forget walking through the emergency room and watching the nurses, the doctors, and what they do. And it just really compels you, kind of moves you towards uh, giving. Oftentimes we've seen coaches, teachers, or people in our life that push, and it just doesn't work. So for me, I like to be pulling people along to tell them about what I'm doing. And most times, that's what really works. That's what happens is when you pull people along, you show them what's happening, and they want to be involved. You cannot push or force them, and uh, there's no need to. When they really see what's happening with the hospital system, um, they really want to be involved. Everyone loves giving and being part of what they're involved with. You know, we have to raise up together, and that's what I think they need to do. It really started just with a visit to a hospital and, and you see a child that's going through chemotherapy, they're going through radiation, they're not feeling well. So you want to do something to try to lift their spirits. Maybe they're a football fan, maybe they don't know anything about football. You could still have someone in there to try to get them to laugh, try to lift their spirits in some way. And I think when you come to play quarterback for an organization, you're, you're not just in the face of that organization, but you, you want to be a face in the community and a part of that community and give back in certain ways. And it's, it's only my responsibility to help some of those people if they're going through a tough time. And you know, there's, there's not a tougher time than one of your children dealing with cancer or any illness. You want to just be there for them. And if you can just sit with them for a little bit and just make sure that child knows that there's, there's people out there that care for them, that are rooting for them, it just makes you feel like you're doing your part a little bit. So I've seen the benefits of what Tackle Kids Cancer has done. I've met so many of those children seven years ago that were dealing with cancer and have seen so many of them smiling and back in school and healthy and doing great things. Unfortunately, I've seen the bad side of that also. And you're inspired by the great work that they're doing because you see the success rates, but you also know that more work needs to be done because not every child is surviving cancer. There is 
uh, more room for growth and there's more need for growth. And to expand this whole network in New Jersey, you want an unbelievable healthcare system here. It is our job to help. And you know, I, I hope that we can continue to grow that into a force that is making a difference all over New Jersey and set the example for other pediatric centers and hospitals across the country. My husband and I actually got bitten by the giving bug a long time ago. We learned that when you give, you get, and I don't mean you get something in return, but you actually get a sense of satisfaction. I also give because I see what the impact is. What I really wanna to say to the donors who are highlighted in this report is thank you. Thank you so very much. And what you do for your communities and for yourselves and for the HMH network, all these things really come together to make sure that you're all having the best health care possible in our state and beyond. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for all that you do, and we look forward to furthering our partnership in the future. Thank you.